Hi, I'd like to introduce you to my newest book, The Online Marketing Bible. And that's some mysterious person back there that's uh, kind of controlling the internet. So what is in this book? This book is actually, I'm very proud of it, it's, um, it's 365 odd pages. And uh, we've got, of course, my digital tipping point, which I think is just, just fabulous. It's about you know, why we are where we are right now, if you, if you care for that kind of stuff. I, I really enjoy that as a little bit kind of philosophical. And then we get into something which is a little bit new. It's my new concept of a new sales funnel. We, we've, we've gone beyond just traditional sales funnel, and now this new sales funnel talks about how, how powerful it is now with the voice of our clients, the voice of our staff, being part of our sales funnel and catching leads all along the way from what others are saying that we're doing fantastic. So that's that kind of stuff. And then we get into your nine-step social strategy. I've been talking about this for quite a while. It's really important. If you don't go through your nine steps, you really shouldn't start your online social media, uh, online marketing uh, world and your efforts. Then I get into, you know, there's a lot of, at the end of every chapter, what I have for you is a kind of notes and some workbook type. Uh, it looks like a workbook. You kind of fill in the blanks and it helps you understand what um, you need to do next. So I've got state your purpose, you know, what, 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 uh, what would you want your followers doing? And I give you examples. So, you know, what social platforms you might be on and then a bit of a checklist. So every, the back of every chapter has um, uh, kind of an activity for you to do. Like when we were kids and we had to do a chapter for, for school and then there was like a workbook at the end of it. So that's kind of uh, the concept, a little bit uh, engaging. I show you a schedule and I suggest you create your own schedule for example. Then the online marketing principles. These are things that you just need to know if you're on uh, online. I'm giving you some really good examples in here as well as to what others have done. So instead of just talking about it, there's all sorts of examples of what you need to know. Um, and then it also links back to my uh, YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel uh, for the book, I have a list that is on my YouTube channel that you can go to and you can see all the videos that I have in my um, on my uh, in my book and you can see them kind of in a channel on the list and it's called online marketing Bible that list so that helps you out and again at the end of, I have a place where you can create your own uh, checklist and your own workbooks and then get into you know search engine optimization as part of the optima as part of this aspect and keywords, selecting your keywords, and that is just so critical. Google Plus, how important it is, how to create your own Google company page, and Google Hangouts, how to create your own Hangouts and, and uh, manage your Hangouts. Then this is kind of a fun new chapter that I have, Understanding Sex and Ages Online. So what do different sexes talk about? Where, uh, what do different, um, what do different ages talk about online? Where are they? What are they doing online? You can see 55 plus. Um, they're quite a bit on email, where if you look at uh, 24 to 18, they're not really on email. So where are they? What are they doing? How do you reach them? How engaged are different uh, target markets? So I've got a bunch of research that I've done that I put out to you, then some research from others. Uh, what are people's preferences online? A lot of stats. This one's got a lot of stats in it. Then the millennials. What are they doing online? How do they think? How do they make their decisions? So that's kind of that chapter. And social measures, this is using tools, really good tools online, uh, including Hootsuite and including, um, uh, including uh, Google Analytics, so how you can measure your activity, and quote. Then staying sane, this is how you manage everything, so how to create your own calendar, and then how to use tools like Hootsuite or Sprout Social to manage all of your activity. So that's kind of what's going on in that chapter. Then we've got, um, what are the roles? What are all the roles in social media? I mean, if you're only your one, if you're the only person in your company, you're pretty well all the roles. However, that's not true. You can actually enlist people that are industry experts or your community giants to help you out as well. But if you are a large organization, there are roles that every person can play in your organization to make this successful. So I go through what are all the roles. I've rolled this out through organizations that were that are a huge and multiple divisions, multiple uh, locations, and I've also rolled this whole uh, 
philosophy out with organizations of one. So uh, what does a leader look like? And of course, one of my favorite leaders online would be uh, uh, Richard Branson and how he tweets, and he's, he's a magnificent online social leader. Then I get into every platform. So on every platform, there's a section, every platform that will impact your business, that is, talk, what is it? And then why would someone be on it? What are the, who uses it? What are the benefits to using it as a business person? And then how to. So all of the actual sections for the platforms are in that, uh, are, are, are cut up that way as to what is it, what are the benefits, who uses it, and then how to. So that's the book. I uh, hope that you enjoy it. I know I enjoy it. And um, I look forward to uh, having you perhaps purchase my book. Thank you. Take care.